Moving on to our next story, Saudi Arabia continues its relentless airstrikes on Yemen, causing more deaths and destruction in the war-torn nation. In the latest airstrikes, Saudi warplanes bombed Al-Ashraf district and Hudaydah government. The strike killed at least five civilians, a couple, and their three children. Saudi Arabia launched a war on its southern neighbor back in March 2015, and since then, nearly 15,000 Yemenis Many of them, women and children, have been killed. The war also severely damaged Yemen's infrastructure and has caused uh, dire humanitarian conditions. To discuss that more, we are joined live uh, from New York by Joe Lombardo, United uh, National Anti-War Coalition. Thank you very much, Mr. Lombardo, for joining us on Press TV. Now, uh, what do you make of this uh, recent airstrike? Only a couple of days ago, the Saudis hit a bus that was carrying nearly 50 school children, uh, which was actually the uh, largest number of children being killed at the same time in Yemen, uh, and it caused a lot of international uh, outcry against it. And then we see this happen ag again. Um, is, uh, why is uh, the Saudi Arabia so emboldened in its uh, attacks against civilians in Yemen? Well, these should be seen as war crimes. And the United States, um, uh, starting with the Obama administration and then under the Trump administration, has really given the green light to Saudi Arabia. After they hit that bus in that market in um, uh, northern um, Yemen, uh, they didn't back down. They didn't say, we're sorry. Um, they basically said, or that we made a mistake. They basically said that they had a right to do that, uh, that um, there were missiles, they said, in the area, missile launchers in the area. And so they have a right uh, to attack that uh, market and, and including that school bus. Um, and there is no right. There is no such right. During war times, you have to do everything you can to avoid uh, um, hitting civilians, which they're not doing at all. And the attack on the port of Hodeida, that's the last port that's open um, to a country that's suffering, not enough food, uh, great famine, um, uh, massive uh, uh, problems with cholera and other sicknesses and hospitals that don't have medicine and supply. So it should be seen as a war crime. And yet they're pushing ahead with it um, against the people of Yemen. And uh, I believe the United States is also responsible because I believe the United States has given them the green light to do this. Uh, do you think the United Nations can do anything to stop this? Uh, we, of course, heard uh, the UN chief uh, asking for an investigation to be carried out regarding that um, strike on the school bus. But uh, can we foresee anything, any, any good results? Um, uh, I'm afraid that the United Nations, with all its good intentions, has not been a, a real tool for progress and has really succumbed to the will of the United States and, and its allies in many places around the world. I was very glad to see some strong statements condemning the hitting of the school bus. Uh, I don't know how they could um, do otherwise, but there's many UN resolutions which have just been violated, and the U.S. has, uh, the United Nations has, has done very little to stop that. So I, I'm glad to see any statement that comes out condemning um, what's going on and and these bombings, uh, but I don't have a lot of faith in the United Nations at this point. Thank you very much, Joe Lombardo, joining us live from New York with his take on uh, the situation in uh, Yemen.